crazy, crazy CTFs this weekend. Do they got one more in the bag? Here we go. Capture the flag. Can TK close it out? Or will Splice battle back? Let's find out, shall we? Off the break. I'll go on this adventure with you. Okay. I turned creepy. <laughs> Already, Gino, the tacticals coming into play. He's been so good with them all weekend, trying to hold this outside lane. In CTF, we play with a 7.5 second respawn delay, recently changed now. So if you want to pull that flag, you get three or four dead, and you should have a time opportunity if you could force them out of their base. Yeah, that's a that's a big part of the reason for the change, right? Three, four down leads to a cap. Not not always the case before, but now you see Tommy getting a couple of kills, allowing Splice to move up. And actually, TK was a part of a crazy CTF on this particular map as well. Oh yeah, Mercy United. So. Oh, yeah. A lot of just memorable moments throughout the course this weekend. We're looking for a few more accuracy. Nice stuff. Jumping around the edge there as he takes out Tommy and alleviates a little bit of pressure. Unfortunately, as they begin to push up, Jerd waiting for him in that fire alley. One in bunker as well. Nice shot. Just kills kind of going back and forth. No one able to get a whole lot of control right now. Yeah, you saw Mad Cat after that SD frustrated. One in seven performance. Certainly. In a grand final. Not ideal, to say the least, especially for someone as competitive as Mad Cat. Uh, one thing I think I did just kind of notice, and when Chino comes off spawn, I want to check. I believe he's also now running that advanced rifling on the AR to match that of accuracy. Two of the only assault rifles I've seen this entire weekend to do it. Okay, now he just switched to an airborne class. He did that, he did have it on his infantry class though. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, you have to, you have to. You need that third attachment, right, if you're going to be running it. And I don't know, it's interesting. If you're going to be playing stationary, especially a slower game mode like CTF, that's where it can really thrive, I would think. But, but, but what I love is the reason why he switched to that airborne class from the infantry class is because his team has middle map pressure. They were in an advantageous position to go for a flagpole. And look, Chino sprinted off spawn and is now running with his flag player because he switched to airborne. Well, they're Heads up play. Waiting for Tommy to peek. Gonna peek the edge. Accuracy once again winning a gunfight. Theory involved in the action as well. The last one is gonna be Bantz trying to make uh, a play in cabin. He's got the return. Nice job. And there comes the return. Bantz does it on one side, Mad Cat the other, and the return is in. Still 0-0 zero, zero scoreline. But they're gonna spawn up back here, and, and Bantz knows that. He, he will at least shut down accuracy. But now a pinch coming in from three players on TK. Honestly, the, the more time you're in this position, the more you have TK rotating back, and the more you're allowed, you allow your teammates to move up. I mean, Tommy and Jert aren't able to get in these spots unless Vance is being a nuisance to the back line. Absolutely. Now you have an opportunity to make a play. You have one player hitting from mid cut. The spawns are a little bit wonky here because you literally had a hit from everywhere. You see the number two from mid, four from the bottom of the screen. You had one coming from top as well. Maybe that disrupts the push a little bit. Like you almost hit from too many lanes. Yeah, it, it's a very awkward area on this map with how deep that spawn is. I mean, look at where. We just saw Theory spawn. The the last pixel of that mini map. Jack, <laughs> there's always areas back there. It's 12:01 now. It is officially Championship Monday. Ooh, I like that. That's got a nice ring to it. <laughs> we should do this more often, right? <laughs> As Adam. <laughs> yeah, Adam's like shut Adam's up. sprinting at me right now. He's about to kill me with a He's one a large man. I'm scared. A oh, minute 45 now left in the first half. Theory, nice job going prone, holding the edge and picking up a kill. Chino involved in the action as well. Playing a little bit of defense here is Kenny, but you see surging forward is Theory. He has been a beast when it comes to the objective throughout this weekend. Nice patience there, easy pickings on Bans. Free aims the back, almost wins one against Tommy. Tommy has all the advantage there with an FG, but good pressure from Theory oh. to again allow his teammates to move up the map. Even if you're by yourself in that situation, you at least open it up a little bit. But as I say that, look at the other side of the map, Jurd is surged forward. Yeah, and Jurd actually let one player sneak past waited for his teammate to pick up the kill, and then shot the second in the back, and now he'll pull, and actually challenge the players coming off spawn. I love this decision. It's three dead, but no. Gets a little bit over eager. It's Cheetah with two. To buy some time for his team to spawn, will they get there in time? The flag is actually in the most awkward area possible. Yeah, I, I like the first pick there from Jer, but once your teammates pick up two more kills, go. Yeah, right? like You don't one. need to challenge one more, in my opinion. But maybe he's just trying to see if he wow. gets freaks and still make a play. But it couldn't have cost him there. They don't get a cap out of that with what what, look, what looked like a definite score. Chino only went up. Three down. Get the hell out of there with the flag. That was three down within, you know, one second ago. That wasn't, you know, players two or three seconds off spawn. And they it, had the full respawn delay. Don't get, me, don't get me wrong. Props to Chino. I mean, he made a big play. But still, I, I think that's a little bit of an error. Ooh. Communication error and play there from Splice as That's well. that uh, advanced rifling alongside Grip making the difference. Pinpoint accuracy with the AR. Unfortunately, it looks like no team will get that first score inside one, which honestly for me, 
leads to great moments inside too. When it's this close, this intense, it's when CTF is one of the best game of to watch. A tight half, no touch here for extra time. First half in the books, 0-0. Zero, zero. Team Caliber now five minutes away from their first whoa, ever whoa. major championship. If they can do it. <laughs> they <laughs> if can do they it. get a flag cap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, they got a score, but five minutes left. It's five minutes between them and the first ever win for the organization. That's pretty incredible stuff. But like you said, yes, yes. Splice, they're not going away yet. Here we go into side two, Splice and TK. Can Splice come to life in this grand final? All it takes is one hero play to spark some momentum. Hasn't happened yet, but there's still time left. Let's see what they can do here. Kenny, inside you. Yeah. Ready to kill you. Shots a little bit yucky, and Tommy turns and take, takes advantage of him at range with the AR. Three deaths. Trading it out, though, is accuracy. They know where Jurd is as well. Does accuracy go to help, or does he hold this angle? It looks like for now he'll t do the latter. I'm sure he's going to shift in a second here. You would think Chief well, is going to get eyes on that. This is actually, I like this a lot, because he's, he's waiting for his teammates to push up ruins yeah. to then go for a unified push instead of trying to do something crazy. Both players will peek. They read it like a book, though, and now it's Splice on the offensive. Yeah, yeah, you think they'd be a little bit worried about the top side. Is Jurd the only one there, but they both stack towards ruins. And they're able to hold it. That's so key from Chino. Even just getting one kill will buy his teammates a few more seconds, and that could mean the world in CTF. Yeah, exactly. That's what you got to love about CTF. Each kill becomes so much more crucial. Moving out, pressure. Coming forward from Splice. Trying to play a little bit of defense in the backside, but two kills do come in. That's going to prompt Chino to now rotate over. Holding a good position here. Smoke Smoke's comes out. Yeah, smoke's not far. I don't know if he should be able to kill him. That's just that's just a smoke. Being it needs to be a little bit more forward. Cut that yep. off. Instead, you give Chino easy kills and a return. I, I I like the idea there. You get the flag, you get in a bunker, you gotta feel like you're out, but you need that out a little bit further there. Absolutely, and, and knowing that Chino's got a slower AR class, you're gonna be able to outrun him with an SMG in the hands of I believe it was Jerd who was trying to make that play. Either way, six and fifteen game from Kenny, kind of the the outlier performance for the wrong reasons well, in, this, in this first uh, seven minutes. Where, where we saw him excel in game one was just flying, <laughs> flying with a sub and making multi-kill after multi-kill. Yeah. That doesn't happen in CTF quite as much. Got to slow it down. Maybe the change of pace could, I don't know, maybe hurt him a little bit. Tommy with one, but for as long as I believe that is, Chino in the back of the map with the AR, they're not going to be able to pull this flag, and they know it. And with that kill from Jurd on a theory, TK have peace of mind knowing that their base is safe. And I know everyone's important in this, but sometimes, man, that, that last line of defense can be your most important player. Chino, when he's going to be in those spots where he has to pick up a couple kills, needs to hit every shot as they're flying at the base. Him just being kind of that statue, that staple you know that's waiting behind you to make a big play, got to be a big vote of confidence for Team Caliber. And he peeks on up. Trying to distract some of these players from Splice. Two and a half minutes remaining. Splice still just on the full defensive hold as they're coming off spawn. AR's pre-aiming, AR's getting kills. Kenny and company waiting. Oh, Tommy just dissecting them one by one. Kenny finally able to get the better. Might actually get two kills here. Kenny with a momentarily opening. He's got to stay alive. Momentary opening, but yeah, there's one left. He has oh. to get for his team. He, he was just still weak. Still yeah. weak. One bullet from the FG takes him down. And Madcat's at a point there where he can kind of pre-fire a little bit because he knows that that he's only got a couple second timing window. He has to make an aggressive play if they want to get a flag out. Yeah, Kenny maybe shoulder peeking, trying to call up for his players pushing through ruins, but good play by Madcat there. But again, two players pushing forward. Theory and Kenny are here. Kenny drops the Theory, finds a kill before ultimately being traded out. It's just, I feel like both teams are playing very safe. You, know, you don't see too many overextends. There haven't been a lot of situations where there's been three or four down. I can only think of really it's, what, it's, a one or two for the most part. It, at least it, in it. It's the grand finals, man. No yeah. one wants to make that tragic mistake that leads your team to a loss. It's like a round 11 in S&D, right? Where typically, you know, in our 90-second game clock in a round of S&D, it'll go down to like 30 seconds before <laughs> play is made because no one wants to be the one to mess up. Who's going to make the play down the stretch? Jerd trying to hold that close corner. Accu accuracy waits for it, peaks it, can't win it. Three down, but it's four That's down. Huge. But it's okay. four down on the defensive end. But it is going to allow them to push up the map, maybe catch Team Caliber on their back foot. Nade out. Won't connect. I actually, this is, this is tough for Chino as he's actually pushing up, trying to get aggressive. He's one shot. He needs to stay alive in this moment. That's exactly it's what an aid. 
Maybe not allowed to do a good position. Tommy picks up a couple of kills. They're both locked inside. They should be trade out for that. That's a cap. That's a panic play from TK. That I, is a uh, cap. Chino is one of the better players in the game at holding that back lane, watching the flag. Instead, he throws a nade and pushes forward and, and plays him a terrible position. Splice! will go up one to zero with only 28 seconds left. <laughs> They're fighting back. They're pushing this series, but it's not over yet. Tommy, Tommy bro. So seconds. Tommy, bro, the game changer. Should be done here. I mean, you're all coming off a of spawn. Splice should have a W. There's no way, the game's over. Five. No one can catch up to it. They can't get to it. They're all set up. Splice on the board here in the grand final. I, I have to say, as good as Chino, played for a majority of that map, I, I think he made the biggest mistake. And, and that, that was that play as he pushed forward and left that fantastic position.